hello beautiful souls hope you all are doing good let's see what are the messages for you from the universe so this is a general reading and general pick up our reading or pick a crystal reading or pick a set reading whatever you would like to call it and um, see whatever you are getting drawn to this is set one green eventually this is set two clear cards this is set three amethyst you may get drawn to multiple set of cards which is fine you may check the timestamp below which i will be putting uh, in the description box and just close your eyes ask yourself whatever it needs to you know whatever you need to understand at this moment if that message will come to you you can keep a question for yourself because this reading will find you whenever you need the most you can come back again and again and check because many time we find different understanding to the same reading as well so you can save the reading of course if you can share with somebody and like and subscribe and comment also okay so this is a set 1 set 2 set 3 and let's start the reading okay so let me just keep set 2 and 3 aside okay and let's start with set 1 so people who have selected green adventure this is a reading for you so let's see what is the message for you so the card is sita then mother mary love and peace wow beautiful combination this is servant light attribute delight in serving others with a free and loving heart using the shadow attribute using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward with life we will see what is the message for you then it is confusion so past unknown known future okay maybe this is a this is what is written here then what can you surrender surrender resentment holding on to resentment only poisons you try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life then authenticity i can be my true self change me divine beloved into one who has the courage to be my true self allow me to honor my sexuality desires and needs as a sacred expressions of your divine love interesting this is from the ancestor spirit oracle enjoy instrument um, sound and tone okay we will see this is wisdom oracle no this is self care wisdom oracle you will see later and these are your tarot cards so the tarot card for you is ace of arrow which is also ace of swords okay. i don't know if you can see then the other tarot cards are 10 of wands let me just adjust the angle of the cards Once. I'll show you these cards later when I'm re actually reading it. Okay. 
and five of pentacles. Okay, what we can do is adjust the candle. Let's see, give me a moment. The message that Pile 1 needs to understand at this moment. Okay, you have been through a situation in your life where you have felt that you don't know where to go, what to do. Okay, this could be your past experience or an experience you know where you may have felt that you were compelled to leave a certain place this could be your workplace this could be your for some of you it could be your house or a relationship or a you know anything that you thought or probably felt that you know this is what you want in the long run but somehow you had to leave the place or leave the situation or leave a person okay and sometimes you feel very overburdened you feel that you don't know where things will be moving and how things will be in the coming time because you have done everything in your power to make things good for yourself and even for others i feel that you are a kind of person who have done a lot of things for others as well but maybe you have not received you know i hope this makes sense to you because definitely i feel that you were not being given your due this could be respect this could be love this could be money this could be anything okay and it has caused a lot of trauma to you because you know depriving of something that we deserve causes lot of trauma so i feel that you are at a crossroads or many times you feel very uncertain you don't know which way to go like what path to choose or what what situations you know like experiences you should choose for further because i feel that a part of you feel fearful about it but the good news what i feel is one ace of arrows which shows me ace of swords I feel this confusion is going to end soon because you have done everything in your power to make people comfortable I feel I don't know why I'm saying this but you have done things to make people comfortable maybe okay this could be also coming from the card servant because you have literally served people to whatever extent you can in fact i think many of you have gone out of their way to uh, you know to to help people to serve people this could be your own family members this could be your work this could be in general like friends anybody even strangers and um ace of swords says me that now is a time where the universe is guiding you to bring clarity and you will get some of the ideas of how to move forward in life because if you have been struggling with confusion or with you know choices and how to make a choice because you don't know where you will be landing yourself into so now the cards tells me that you will get some clarity 
of course you may take time to put it into action i feel because this uncertainty and and this choices you know i don't know i'm just feeling that this uncertainty and choices makes you feel stuck at times it's not that you want to be stuck it's just that it's just that you are not able to move forward and probably that is the reason the card has come surrender resentment it says holding on to resentment only poisons you try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life so this says to me that people have given what they had they cannot give you what you have given them because they are not you and um, you are very loving you are very kind you are very giving but they are not and maybe because many times you may have felt this is not expectation without any i don't think i don't feel that you were expecting anything without giving because you were giving you were expecting okay and also i feel that some of you may have got this pattern of having this kind of people who are not reciprocating to your feelings or to your contribution in their life is a pattern which is coming from your maternal side okay and um, some of you may have also have some trauma related to mother okay or it could be that your mother was a person who was also you know not being given what she has been given in the family or with other people so it's like a adaptation or a passing on of a generational trauma coming from the maternal side sita card says to me that you know you have been very loyal you have been very dedicated devotional towards whatever thoughts you have right now with regards to your life thoughts in a way i mean area of your life like work relationship or anything you know you have been very dedicated you have been very loyal to it okay and yeah you have done your best so i feel that ma sita is saying to you that you are a very powerful soul you are not here to settle for less of course your journey was not easy of course there was lot of experiences which may have felt made you felt overburdened but that that is because you are also here to learn a lesson with regards to your authenticity it says that you are here to uh, understand who you are your true self and your true self is very 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 beautiful this is beyond your physical appearance some of you i also feel that you are physically also very fit very attractive you have this leadership quality also in you it could be that you don't see that in yourself but others do and also it coming to me that maybe because others see that how beautiful you are inside out they may not be able to i would say i can use the word jealousy they may be little jealous of you and out of jealousy also they may not give you what you are giving because you are giving with lot of i feel love yes you are giving out of love you are not giving out of any expectations of 
see you are not expecting to receive but it's like you know i feel some of you have been blamed or been you know made felt bad about themselves even when you are doing everything in your power to do whatever you can for people okay perhaps the situation says here that you need to let's see what what can you do with self care that could help okay the card is rebel okay it says it's time to celebrate the fact that you don't fit in stand on your own two feet wow and i feel it's like a transformation okay uh, it could be a literal transformation with regards to what you wear how you look or it could be about how you respond this could be a literal transformation from your traditional wear to a modern wear okay that doesn't mean that if you do this you will lose your true self okay but you don't have to be in a nutshell because others are expecting you to be because ultimately you are here to uh, know your true self okay so even if you are i'm just going with the outfit even if you are in this outfit your true self still will be serving okay and serving but understanding that the another for this group there are two cards of from self self care oracle that this time you are not ignoring your needs it says do you need more time to yourself a break from thinking too much a kind encounter with a friend your needs matter and it's time to honor them so you are here to now experience life more from the understanding of what you want and not what others wants from you because what they want from you if even if you keep giving to them they may reciprocate to your needs or they may not reciprocate to your needs so what feeling i am getting here is that if you want to do things for others don't do because they want you to do you can do it but then you have to be very integrated with regards to an understanding that they may not reciprocate okay your the mother mary card says let go of need to be right choose peace mother healing is possible at this time and as i was saying that there could be a tra uh, that trauma coming from your maternal side so this is the high time that you release all the resentment for some of you it could be also resentment for your mother because mother mary card and surrender of resentment is just you know together so you can let go of the resentment of course here when they say let go forgive that doesn't mean that you forget what they did to you but you forgive and let go because you deserve peace because you deserve closure and for some of you i feel that you are looking for closure but they may not give you the closure that you want at least not in this moment the closure will come to you but it will take time i feel then another card that came for you was enjoy music instrument sound and tone probably this could bring healing to you so you can listen to music but listen to music which brings healing to you okay like soothing calming or even if it is something which is like a rock music but it has to be something which makes sense to you okay or it could be also learning an instrument or learning music which can also bring healing to you also here there is i feel that you can also spend time near water because water will help you to heal okay this could be a swimming 
because here I can see the girl, you know, in the swimming pool. So this could be learning swimming or going for regular swimming also, okay? Because water is indication of emotions. So it will help you to wash away all that is not required, okay? I also feel there is more message from Sita Bhatt. Just give me a moment. Okay, I feel that uh, because Sita card has come, uh, she has done everything in her power to, you know, to give uh, to the society to, because she was also a queen. So she has done everything in her power to give to her you know people whether it is in the kingdom or whether it is to her husband but then ultimately she has also chosen self-empowerment right she has not lost her identity in serving others so you serve others but do not lose your identity okay for many people it may not you like the people in your space may make you feel that you are a rebellious person but it is not about being rebellious it's just about not losing yourself at the cost of serving others okay definitely you feel very good when you serve others i feel but you don't need to lose yourself okay so this was I am feeling this. Give me a moment if there is anything that I am missing. Yeah, and go as you let go of resentment, you will also come out of trauma. You will come out of lot of negative thoughts, ideas, beliefs, emotions. It will really help you to understand who you are truly because there are many layers of other people in your space in the form of energy or in the form of experience or thoughts ideas beliefs okay and it's high time that you let go and it's high time that you come into your authentic self okay so this was the reading for you i hope this was helpful let me know in the comment section how was the reading for you we will meet in some other time and space lots of love bye bye Let's go to the next card, which is this clear card. So, yeah, this is second. You can check the timestamp below. I mean, you may have come from the timestamp, so I hope this is true. So, your first card is Sahastra. Then it's Light Activation, Sanat Kumara. It says shine your light, your eternal guidance is coming through loud and clear, coming through loud and clear, gossip. It says light attribute, awaken consideration for feelings of others, honoring, trust and shadow attribute, thrive on the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying or betraying confidences. Okay, we will see what is the message for you. then face entanglement emotional influence and how it is like the gossip card has come and here the imagery of the card is also something very similar sorry i didn't saw that it is not coming in the same frame so i have not seen this are from two different set of cards and how <laughs> universe has its own way of letting us know what is happening so we'll come to that what is the message we will see surrender the habit of people pleasing speak your needs and be true to yourself focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone happy emotions and you're the emotional influence and you're the card is emotions i i release strong emotions 
चेंज मी डिवाइन बिलावर्ड इन टू वन हू कैन ईजीली एक्सेस ऑल माई फीलिंग्स लेट मी ब्लेस एंड रिलीज एंगर रिजेंटमेंट और बिटरनेस मे आई रिलीज एनी इमोशन दैट ब्लॉक हैप्पीनेस एंड कंटेंटमेंट फ्रॉम एलसिस्टर एंड ओराकल स्पिरिट फाइंड योर वॉइस एक्सप्रेस योर सेल्फ ओपन अप एंड सिंग आउट इफ यू वर्ड रॉन टू सेट वन प्लीज चेक सेट वन ऑज वेल ओके देन इट इज दिस वील सी लेटर लेट सी द टारो कार्ड्स वन कार्ड इज फॉर यू एस ऑफ दिस विच इज एस ऑफ पेंटिकल्स other tarot cards for you is the tower three of swords and the wheel of fortune we will see i'm keeping here when i'm talking about the cards i'll keep here so what is the message for you what is the message for sector when do i start Just give me a moment. Definitely, if I start with the gossip card and the phase entanglement, I feel that there are many people talking about you. Some are very positive, some are very negative. Uh, there is a lot of gossip around you, and you know, your instinct kind of tells you sometimes that what is happening, but maybe you ignore. Okay. nothing wrong with ignoring okay and uh, yeah there is lot of things that people are talking about and you know the good news is <laughs> it's funny but it is true that they are talking because you are shining your light is getting activated you have been through lot of tower moments in your life you have been through a lot lot of hard breaks every time you trust people you trust others you have been through lot of trauma lot of drama and finally you are choosing yourself i feel that this card has come because uh, you are already in the process of surrendering the habit of people pleasing but because it could be a very deep rooted experience or i would say not experience but a deep rooted programming so you are still in the process of coming out because it's very hard to let go of people pleasing right so you are still in the process of coming out so keep doing whatever you are doing of letting go and surrendering your habit of people pleasing i am not sensing that you are in the people pleasing 100% it could be like you know you are in the as i already mentioned that you are in the process of shifting that and people are wondering why or what happened suddenly that you are not in uh, contact for some people or you are not giving in as you were giving in before so it is quite surprising for them because maybe that is the reason they are talking about that what is happening like you know because now you are choosing yourself you are choosing your emotions you are honoring your emotions you are honoring um, what is coming from within right because you had enough <laughs> three of swords tells me that you had enough of all the drama and all the whatever people saying doing and so people are not able to wrap their mind around what is happening definitely i feel light activation card and sahasra card which is just next to each other that you are getting downloads from the universe and uh, that download is something which is very very important for your life purpose very important for your soul's growth you are very connected to the divine i also feel that you are seeing your true self okay you are seeing who you are okay um you are understanding why are you here if you feel that you are not then maybe it is in the coming time you will understand that 
ஸ்ரீஸ்வரம் and i feel it is all positive because the card is ace of this and here if you see the image there is a child and there is a mother there is a tree there is a soul you know positive energy i feel that you are giving birth after all this trauma that you have been through you are giving birth to your new self okay and when there is a birth of a new self you need to be little gentle and kind to yourself okay also this tells me that ace of disc that the ideas that you will be receiving from the universe will be very fruitful this could be for your work this could be for relationship this could be for anything because ace of pentacles is about lot of stability so this ideas that will come to you through the universe will be very stable will be very bringing stability in your life and it will be you know cutting off lot of things because here also the card which has come for you is the wheel of fortune wheel of fortune is all about you know destiny card it's about changing the wheel in your favor or the wheel is you know uh is going in your favor the fortune is coming in your favor and lot of people probably are shocked or surprised because maybe they were underestimating you because you have always given importance to them you have always given importance to their emotions what they want how they want how you know whatever you have given so much of importance to them and now you are choosing yourself and here when i say you are choosing yourself i am not feeling that you are choosing yourself because you want to prove to them it is it is not showing me that energy of proving to others it is about yourself and i am not sensing anything if you have a doubt of being selfish i am not feeling that way because selfishness would be when you are you know choosing yourself because you want to again please others you are not doing that for that i am i'm not sensing that and if you are doing it probably then you may have your reasons but here i can't see that and the tower is saying to me also please take care of your health this could be mental health emotional health physical health okay because as you take care of your health you will be able to you know use your energy to channelize for better situations and experience in your life in coming time because you will have lot of things to do and um, they are very positive and you it will require your you know good health so uh, take care of your health take care of your all the health emotional on all the levels physical emotional and uh, physical emotional even energy wise okay like if you feel in your space because see here the card which shows me the rainbow i feel very positive about it so your energetic space also needs to be very positive okay i feel that here it's written that change be divine beloved into one who can easily access all my feelings let me bless and release anger resentment or bitterness may i release any emotions that block happiness and contentment i think you are already in the process but as i already mentioned that it takes time so be patient and kind to yourself find your voice express yourself open up sing out so singing could help you to you know Uh, release all the resentment or all the negative thoughts ideas emotions 
because it will help you to activate your even your throat chakra of speaking your mind but with love and compassion yes this will also help you to vent because it's very important to vent all that you feel that you need to let go right so singing can help you to channelize your emotions okay and here the card for you for the self care oracle was peace it says just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the performance make your life a drama free zone now i can't make this up because i have not checked the card that i already mentioned but i love this that universe is really really guiding you and thank you to the universe through to the sanat kumara higher self ancestors all the spirit guides who are helping to synchronize this reading for you and helping me to channel this reading because how it could be there is gossip there is this imagery of gossip and here it is written that people want drama and you are coming and you are surrendering your habit of people pleasing so this says we that you are now actually seeing the people for who they are because the mask is now you know dropping and that probably that is the reason you felt disappointed you felt this heart broken you felt bad but now you are not staying in the energy of bad you are just moving from that energy you are you are said that okay i'm done with this i just want to move so if there are people who still want to drag you into their drama you can always choose peace okay you can always choose peace you can always choose to move from that situation you don't need to stay in that situation for some people it could be also literally taking a step back from this group of people and uh, let them speak what they want to speak let them say what they want to say you focus on your ace of pentacles okay you focus on what are the ideas that you are receiving from the divine you focus on your light activation okay and i also feel that being gratitude to these people <laughs> you know why because i'm sensing that of course they had brought lot of disappointment and lot of negativity in your space why gratitude because if they were not behaving the way they were behaving you would have not tapped into your emotions you may have not understand or understood your triggers right you would have not seen what is the darkness because you see the darkness you want to find your own light right so people who bring darkness are telling you that you are the light so thank them for bringing the darkness because you are understanding that you are the light okay and probably maybe you can bless them so that they find their light and they not compare themselves with you because they don't know probably even half the story of your life or maybe one third or maybe even nothing about your life so don't give too much attention to them they don't know anything about you or even if they know they don't know how to hold the space for you because not everybody can understand other people's trauma and other people's emotions and that should not be your problem of course that is their problem so i feel in coming time the wheel is turning in your favor you have to play your cards well you will be given ace of pentacles and it's like birthing of a child so you will be given that now how you nurture it how you channelize it for yourself and for others will determine the outcome okay so i hope this reading was helpful because i feel 
there is lot of good things coming in your life i feel that it was important for you to see the real faces of people and uh, it is very important now that you keep connecting to the divine i feel that sahasra chakra is telling that you are here for something bigger purpose you just need to pay attention to whatever downloads you are receiving and channelize that for yourself and others let me know in the comment section how was the reading for you thank you so much lots of love take care bye bye let's go to the third set of cards which is this amethyst people who have selected amethyst let's see what are the messages for you the first card is anjana the which is third eye wow all the cards for today are very beautiful then el moria awakening presence the universe is with you wear a cloak of protection and love interesting child wounded it says awaken compassion and desire to serve others wounded children open the learning path of forgiveness shadow attribute blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds resist moving on through forgiveness then emotional desert it is inactively isolation then surrender to passion it says get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly focus on people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow and this prosperity i am trusting change me divine beloved into one who knows you are alone are the source of prosperity let me live in gratitude trusting every need is handled that alone is true wealth okay wow then this is from ancestral spirit oracle go with the flow let go rest and manifest okay here also it is written let it flow then this is i'll see later and your tarot cards are justice three of cups six of wands and six of pentacles wow six six and three okay good wow let me just give me a moment and have a sip of water one minute Okay. So lot of you, eleven could be an important number. You may see lot of eleven, eleven. I feel okay. Your emotional desert, sorry, yeah, emotional desert, inactive isolation. So I feel that uh, many of you are healing some childhood wounds. Okay, and uh, it was not an easy childhood for you. Okay, because. you have been through a situation or an experience which has brought lot of isolation and lot of feeling of being alone or lonely also for some people of course you may have 
worked on it i feel to some extent in whatever way you could what universe is trying to tell you for group 3 is that you don't need to worry the universe is with you you are being protected you are being guided because your third eye this card also tells me that awakening presence and ajna chakra which is third eye chakra says about you are in the process of opening your inner wisdom inner guidance because this childhood wounds which you have been through were a you know could be a karmic thing for you because justice card has come you have served a period of whatever trauma you have served because you have completed you know that karmic cycle for yourself it must be like ki why me sometimes you may have that question you will get your answers why me it this could be through some inner work or it could be just in the flow whenever is the right time you will get it okay if it is important for you which i feel it is but for some people it may not be but i feel in your case it is because it was not easy to be alone it was not easy to be isolated it was not easy to do everything on your own and this awakening presence of el moria is saying to me which is just next to child wounded says to me that even in the childhood you were protected and here it is it is wear a clock of protection and here if you see the person is wearing like a clock right and there are two children here so i feel that universe had protected you even in your childhood even when you felt that not it was not like that so it was there because see what happens here is i feel that when children go through trauma they are being given the resources because how will they survive otherwise right they won't be able to survive the trauma if they are not given the resources to deal with it okay it may be not a very obvious thing for you okay probably but it was there which i feel or it could be that now you are getting that protection okay if you feel isolated or if you feel that things are not going in your favor it's all because it was happening for you this says me because a this has helped you or this trauma was there to you because it was opening your third eye chakra third eye chakra is all about your intuition your you know you could be psychic you could be healers you could be people who you know sometime even get deja vu or get dreams about past present future specifically about the future or you may get an inner knowingness okay this is all because also because of the childhood trauma and what you can do now the universe is asking you is surrender to passion for some of you this could be also the passion of contributing in the society of healing other children okay or contributing on other other child other children so that they don't go through what you have been through this could be also for your own children also but i feel that this could be one of your life purpose okay also maybe surrender to passion now if you want to also come out of this isolation it's very important that you let it channelize your through your passion because this will help you also bring like minded people it will help you bring closer to your soul family soul group even for some people it could be soul mate 
you don't need to push anything to make it happen you have to just let go you have to rest and you have to manifest you have to just go with the flow once you start practicing your passion or you surrender to your passion you will see that whatever ideas you have will bring lot of prosperity because you are taking the action required to you know bring prosperity it says i am trusting it will bring all that what you want because you are i feel prosperity here is more about the monetary prosperity but it could be also anything that you want in your life like people like minded people or your soul group or your soul tribe because here also there are people working together right here they are enjoying here they are celebrating and working together okay they are they are working and making something you know like some food and some kind of preparation for something so this will help you to bring that this will also bring you balance because it will giving you more uh, balance in receiving and giving right it will help you to bring lot of monetary uh, gains also it will bring you six of wands which is appreciation i know this is about you receiving the message but i think it is telling me about the blessings that you are going to receive in the coming time okay because you deserve this you have really really worked hard to you know come out of whatever situations you were in so give a you know tap on your back connect to that younger self and tell her or him that you did good okay maybe appreciate your childhood or appreciate i mean appreciate the inner child appreciate for being not giving up right so do that for some of you also the message coming here is that what were you passion passionate about in your childhood do that because that will bring you prosperity there were some childhood activities that you were indulged in you enjoyed and actually that is one of your you know way of connecting to yourself okay it is a way of bringing prosperity in your life it could be that because of you know because of expectations of the society you were not able to follow your passion so i think now is the time to follow your passion because it will bring you lot of satisfaction if you are not looking that for monetary gains or for you know direct way of bringing money to you but it will also maybe it will also help you to channelize the energy in your workplace okay and then the self care oracle is self care oracle for your inner wisdom is listen it says people start to heal the moment they feel heard okay this could be you listening to your inner child okay this could be you listening to others in your space because that will give you their perspective okay or this could be you connecting a professional who can listen to you and help you to come out of this childhood wound because it will help the inner self to be feeling of getting the feeling of being heard okay so this could be that because it's very important that you spend time listening and this could be listening your own thoughts your own ideas beliefs understanding coming out but because it is two people you are i feel connect with a person this could be you listening your friend relative whoever you have a difference okay or this could be connecting professional also i feel more it is from the professional listen but 
or it could be you are in the profession where you listen to people okay, this could be also one thing so yeah and also give some treat to yourself you know don't just expect yourself to do inner work and not treating yourself so give a treat to yourself this could be eating something sweet or it could be going out in some nature anything that your inner child wants okay goddess energy is also coming very strongly in this reading so in india we just celebrated diwali and today i am doing just next i think second day of after diwali so and the prosperity card has come which is again an indication of lakshmi right so you are coming in the energy of prosperity or experiencing more prosperity in your life what else <clears throat> also i feel this prosperity is not coming to you just by luck or by chance it is coming because you have been the generous person you give people and now is the time for you to receive okay so this is all i have for you group c i hope this was helpful for you let me know in the comment section how was the reading we will meet in some other time and space lots of love take care